Hello everyone, uh, today I'll show you how to fix the spike prime motor, how to open it. The motor itself um, is actually working, but the hub is not seeing it because of the wire. So we need to change the wire. I ordered some uh, wires, exactly same wires from China for very cheap, around, around $1 each. So I just need to open it now and uh, solder a new wire to the same motor. So first thing, we need to take off this, the top lid. I just use uh, a regular screw, a small one, and push each of the connectors here. And then just put the knife here. So uh, these connectors are very long, they come from top to here. So you need to be careful with a knife because you can cut off this connector. So you can just put it in the middle somewhere here. Put it in the middle like that. And you just open the case. Looks like that. I used to fix uh, Lego Widow motors before. It was much easier than this. And I'm just gonna put some screwdriver there. I'll do the same from the other side. Doesn't look well, but this is how I open from this side, and then the, the other one here. I'm very, I am careful, but oh, I broke one. Okay, this is how it looks. So the case is there. So I opened it, but I actually ended up breaking this part, but it can still hold on this three and this is how it looks the trickiest part is to to open this blue one um, because it has two two um, connectors that hold that thing actually three connectors so it's holding on this one on that and one in the middle so i was trying to open it with different ways using different tools but i ended up finding the easiest way actually to cut so it's this one, this part has same connectors as top one. So I found a way to cut off one of the connectors. So and the middle one. So if you cut off these two, you can just uh, pull this third one and it will slide open. First, I need to cut off this. Uh, I need to cut off this top little pin, which is right here. And I use my cardboard knife, just put it underneath and and just cut it off very easy. So now we don't have that pin there. And another one is a side connector, which is located right there. This little one, this little connector. So I need to cut it off because otherwise it's very, very hard to open it. So you just I just use a cardboard knife to cut it like this. It's made of plastic, just gently move the knife back and forth and you cut it. And then to completely cut it off, I do the same thing on the other side. It's, to not cut myself, I'll use the cutting, cutting mat, but... Okay, now it's, uh, I, I, I cut that thing off, if you can see. It's, it, it's broken, but it's still inside. And now the only thing is holding this blue thing is one connector here. I can use my screwdriver to to pull very carefully.
to to pull you see i'm putting my screwdriver here so this connector is holding the whole thing blue thing so i just just pull it apart all right so now now this part is open you can see and this part i broke it i mean i i cut this connector off so if i just pull it came off came off and then you just pull this thing away and, and and this little white one is also you see this little little connector here uh it was on top of this it was right there you see the same connector but here i i used my cardboard knife to cut it off and this is how you open it has something inside you just open this part there are some things that holds stuff uh, and i ordered some wires from china it has six pins so i'll just solder and all, uh, take this wire off and then i'll solder new one on top uh, that's how you fix it and assembly is very easy much easier than uh, opening it thank you for watching